Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just to echo the words of the chairman, um, it is disconcerting that this bill, the Megan's Law bill, which is such important legislation, is sitting over in the Senate. I know in Luzerne County, where I hail from, the district attorney's office and law enforcement has been unable to supervise uh, up to six people that would be registered sexual offenders. So in one county alone in this Commonwealth, there are six people that would be registered sex offenders but are falling through this loophole as being either transient, homeless, or out of state offenders. Uh, this loophole must be closed. It can only be seen as playing politics with your children if you are allowing these sexual offenders, sexually violent predators, to go unsupervised. Uh, and I think it's most egregious. And the lack of action, uh, unfortunately, uh, may be having detrimental effects. I don't think it's unreasonable to think that it could possibly be having detrimental effects in the Commonwealth right now. Uh, and I, I'd like to applaud the chairman for taking this action. Um, it's, it's something very, very important, and I would hope that all members of this, we only had one member of the House vote against this on the full House floor, uh, and I would hope that all members of this committee would see the importance of this. Thank you.